Hi, it's Miss Janet again. Week four, week four art lesson. Take a look, we're going to do an abstract crayon collage. We're gonna elevate the little crayons into something that looks like a piece of artwork. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. What you'll need is a dark background. You could use black, you could use dark blue. Whatever you decide that you have at home, that's fine, okay? I'm gonna put this down now. How are you? How is everybody? As usual, I miss you guys. I hope to see you soon. We will see, I guess. Okay, back to the lesson now. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is get a piece of white paper. And what we're going to do is we're going to start coloring up. We don't want stripes. Please don't make stripes. Make the colors blend together, okay? Uh, pick any colors you like. If you'd like to stick to two or three colors, that's fine. But I'm using all different colors. And make sure you blend one into the other. And as I said, please, no stripes. We want blending. Place one on top of another and blend. Don't put too many colors together. You know that that makes mud. You remember. Mm -hmm. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut a strip of this paper. Cut straight across. Maybe your parents can help you with this if you can't do it. And then cut various sections. You decide. You make them long, you make them short, you make them... Okay? Then we're going to place these sections on the dark background in a vertical or horizontal position. We do not want a diagonal, please. Vertical, horizontal. You just figure out a nice placement for all of them. Leave a little black in the middle or dark from the background. Start placing them all over. And cut another one. Now with this paper, I want you to do up to at least half the paper of coloring because you're gonna need about that much to fill out the design. So then, here again, we're gonna cut sections. Okay, maybe I want this one here, and I want this one here, and maybe this one here. You decide what you think is the best composition. Composition means how it looks on the page to you. It has to look good to you. Okay, so once this is filled with the cut up pieces of paper, they're all gonna be rectangles or squares. They're all gonna be put in vertical, which is an up and down like the skyscrapers, or horizontal, which is looking out on the horizon on the beach and seeing a line going across the water and the sun. You place them here, you take up one, you take, you place your whole composition out on the whole paper. Then you go back, you take up one at a time because you want to remember where you put it. You take it, you turn it over on scrap paper so you don't get glue all over and you put glue on the back and then you place it back on the paper and that's it and you do that all over the paper and I guarantee you that it's going to look great and all you're using is a crayon and everybody has crayons 
and you've used them since you've been in pre-K. So we want to make this look very neat. No glue on the paper, glue on the extra piece of paper, the scrap, and sign in the right hand corner your name or sign on the back. So good luck with it. And let me show you again what it's gonna look like. It looks really cool, right? So I'm sure that you're gonna do a great job. And I will see you next week on another video. Goodbye from Miss Janet. Take care. See you soon.